the Joe Rogan experience. The Uyghur situation is shockingly undercovered. Oh, my God. Well, it, just, it demonstrates that when people said never again, they were full of crap. They're just full of crap. I mean, it's just not true. I mean, the, the, this is one area where the United States should absolutely be taking a leading role. It is obvious that China is a nefarious actor. China has been stealing our technology. China is the Chinese government is attempting to extend its rule of tyranny over Hong Kong. They just subjected 7.5 million people to their direct tyranny in violation of treaty. And the response has basically been muted from the Western world. I mean, did you see that? Did you see that video of the uh, the Chinese ambassador in Britain being asked on the BBC about that tape? No, I didn't. It's fantastic. So the, the BBC interviewer shows him the tape of the people being pushed onto trains, right? And he says, what is this? And the Chinese ambassador says, I can't see it. I'm not sure what you're talking about. He's literally saying that the screen is huge. It's right behind him. Like he's looking right at it. And he acts as though he can't see it. And then he starts talking about the natural beauty of the region, right? He, oh. he, 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 won't, he won't deal with it. He won't, exp he won't explain what it is. And the rest of the world is just like, well, you know, what? Ha this is where, you know, in, in the sporting world, the the whole the, the story that's undercovered in the sporting world is the is the blowback on that the NBA gave to Daryl Morey the the Houston Rockets GM for saying free Hong Kong right. right you can't even get anybody in the NBA to condemn China while China's subjecting a million Uyghurs to abject slavery Mark Cuban just had an exchange with uh, Ted Cruz the other day where where he was going after Cruz for something and Cruz said well, just you know he he questioned Cruz Cruz's balls or something and, and Cruz came back at him and said well do you have the balls to condemn China and Cuban said something like well, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to get involved in the internal affairs of another country. And I thought, well, that's that is not an internal affairs question. It's one thing to say I don't want to get involved in the tax rates of other countries. It's another thing to say, shaving people's heads, shipping them on trains to concentration camps where you force them into labor and or sterilize them. That seems like not an internal issue that you're not allowed to criticize, really. Yeah, that's a big one. But the the China thing is so crazy because so many. So many business interests have this connection with them, and so much of the the money that they generate is because of China. I mean, the NBA films. There's a, 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 there's so much, so much of our culture that kowtows to China. We're so connected to them, and that's one of the things that we really found out from this pandemic is how many things are built there, how much of our medicine, how much we rely on China. It also demonstrates the lie of the idea that if you trade with somebody, then they're going to liberalize. Yeah, right? that was that was something that was pushed over the last 30, 40 years real hard, which is. We'll help them out economically. We'll have mutual trade. It'll be good for both of us. And they'll liberalize because once they realize it's good to be part of the world economy, then they won't be tyrants anymore. And instead, they just took all the chips off the table and said, no, actually, I'm going to double down on this and we're going to get more tyrannical, not less. I mean, she is the most powerful Chinese leader since Mao. It's incredible. <laughs>